Cal from Cal's Crafts. Welcome back if you've been before. And hi, if this is your first time, thank you for um, stopping by and watching my video. I've got no floss tube this week. Let's turn that round a bit. But I have got a flip through of the world of cross stitching for you. So you can, I can show you whether you think it's worth buying or not, whether you like anything in it or not. But firstly, I've got my candle. I've just lit it now because I haven't long come in the door. I bought myself another sea salt and sandalwood candle um, for a pound. Yeah, from a local supermarket. So I love that one because the other one ran out. So I'll put that to time. So anybody that needs prayer, salts and positivity, know your candle's lit. I've got my cup of coffee. Yeah, and I've got my magazine. This one, as I can see, I bought in Tesco. So it says bonus kit. So I don't know if it's that one or that one. I presume it's that one, but we'll get into it. We shall get into it, guys. And this one was $5.99 plus a gift, issue 312, November 2021 edition. So we've got Christmas mice gift tags. Oh, they're cool. Look at all them little Mises. Lucy Heaton exclusive. Little tags. You've got to love somebody to do tags like that, though, haven't you? Because they've got to take forever. And then, ooh, Adventure in China. Two-in-one bookmark and card. That's nice. That's nice. I like that a lot. So you can make the bookmark, put it in a card and send it off. That's lovely. So we've got them two gifts. And this is what we've got. We've got Create Winter Wildlife War Art. Snow Fun there. Thank you, new man. We've got the carry on of the little huts and things. Houses. Oh, look, penguins. We love penguins. You know I love penguins. So, let's have a look in here. Junk now, the welcome pages as usual. It tells you all the contents, what's where and where. Then we every week we have a mouse, and this week we have this little mouse. What's she called? Usually they've got a name. Fest tuned with holly and berries for the second season. We're loving Monty's holiday look. So this is Monty's holiday look. He's all decked out in a big red bow and Santa hat. And with that beaming smile, he's sure to spread joy. Stitch him as a card and wish loved ones a Merry Christmas. And every week they do a little mouse. And whether it's Flossie or Monty or Lizzie or whatever, they're all in different things each, each week. And that is 40 by 41. Then we've got all the Mises, and they're all 22 by 16 high, and each one should take about two to three hours. This one, which is Snow Very Merry, is by Margaret Sherry. It's take you about 45 hours, cross stitch fractionals and back stitches are the type of stitches you're going to be using on this one. And it's for an advanced beginner. And I'll give you a close up. And there it is, little booty cat look. So that's quite cute. And mince pies. Who doesn't like mince pies? Mm -mm -mm. Never used to as a kid, but I do now. And it's 128 by 103 wide. And the thread and the fabric cost, if you bought it here, would be about £33, it says. Then we have your letters. All about what you've been doing and where you've got what from where. Then we have... Um, Baby's Masterclass. She does one every week, different masterclass. Um, pay close attention to the key when doing the back stitches to ensure you're using the correct number of threads. So it's just telling you if you use one, two or three threads, what it looks like, how to do a triple cross stitches and everything. So it tells you everything there that you would need that she's done there for the star. So that there she's got the pattern for and as you can see it's a little Christmas scene nativity 16 hours cross stitch back stitch triple cross stitch for the star and it's an intermediate to advance and it's 89 high by 40 wide now this one I love tis the sea sun look at this Santa with his surfboard and then Sandra Luck flamingos 
Christmas flamingos, palm tree, and even look, a Christmas mermaid. How nifty is that? And this is by Cheryl McKinnon. Sorry, I've just lost my slipper, my toes cut. This one, it's approximately 8 to 18 hours each, depending which one you, you go for. Cross stitch and back stitch are the two stitches you're going to be using on this one, and it's a beginner's one, so easy peasy for me. I do like them. And they are 70 70 in size. So there's festive for the eyes. So you can make your little own creative custom handmade placeholders. And you've got all the letters of the alphabet. Ask the expert questions. Um, somebody always asks for something of an animal, and Jenny always does it. And this week it is a rodent of some sort. Is it a hamster? Yeah, a hamster, I think that is. So she's done that for them. So we've got old questions and answers. We have the designed roundup of what's out there and what to look for and how much it is. And this is the one I've been looking. This is by Jenny Barton. I do like Jenny Barton's stuff. But look. Look at your penguins. He's a penguin. My mum would love these. I might do some of these for my mum. If I get the time. Because I haven't done any stitching. These are four to seven hours each. Type of stitches is cross stitch. And then just a bit of back stitching around it. And then it's for beginners. And who doesn't like penguins? And these are 34 by 34 high, so not too big. Advertisements. Then this is a, um, questions on big patterns, how she, how, what you would do and how you would do it and techniques and things by Fiona's Focus. This is if you want to subscribe to the World of Cross Stitching. If you subscribe, this is... Uh, what you get and then we've got uh, fabulous fab you us golden metallic add extra sparkle to this collection I'm afraid metallic thread I don't get on with I get in a right pickle and I know the thing is short threads isn't it but I do get in such a threat with it stitch these classic designs by Maria Dars for your home or as gifts for loved ones look at them I have to hold them up for you to see we have the dove, an angel, season's greetings, a stocking, p -p penguins, little robin, little deer. And she's got 45 stylish ideas. So that's them done up. I'll just flick swans, birds, ballets, violins. Wings, skaters, deers, rabbits, churches, sleighs. So you had a quick, quick look then. That's my phone again. This is by Alison Gardner. I think that's how you say Gardner. This is a Georgie, Georg, Georgian match. No, start again. Georgian mansion get there in the end so that's what we've got so we've got santa and it's reindeers we've got a little owl we've got a little birdies somebody pulling the sleigh we even got a little kitty luck can you see the kitty kitty peering around the corner snowman we've got a little robin there people making the snowman the little doggy even a reef on the door and look you can see a silhouette of an animal in the window oh look and there's somebody peeking there. Shadows of people there having a good time. So that's really good. There's a lot of detail in there, isn't there? Really, really nice, that one. And this is 150 plus hours. So, yeah, your guess is as good as mine. Type of stitches. Are you ready? Are you ready for this, guys? It has cross stitches, fractionals, half cross stitches, blending, backstitch, French knots, beads and embellishments. Yeah, just 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 a few bits to it. And of course it's for the advanced. So, you know, maybe another 10 years, 15 years I might be able to do something like that. And that is 156 high by 210 wide and they break it down lovely for you. Then we have the festival of life. 
of light not life this is by emma condon and she wanted to bring a diwali is that how you say it wishes and festival to life so that's what she's done so she's got the fireworks and everything and which is lovely and she says it's two to five hours of stitching time cross stitches and back stitches and it can go for a beginner or to an advanced beginner so that's nice and 43 by 41 high then you get the best buys what they are where they where you can get them what they think then we have tinsel town make a 3d scene by fiona baker they do a lot of these sort of things it's 20 to 30 hours per complete building there's only cross stitch and back stitch in it and it's easy stitching is beginners i think putting together might be a bit tricky though i got a feeling i'll hold it up so you can have a good look she's got the toy shop I presume that's the town hall, yeah, town hall, and I don't know whether that's uh, somebody's home or the church hall, maybe. Uh, 51 by 60 high they are. So there's plenty of detail and they actually show you, if you see there, how to put it all together, which is good. So there's lots of patterns on that. And then we've got winter, wonderland, to me that is, winter wildlife, but it's a wonderland of animals, look. Oh, I can imagine all these type of animals like that on a on a sampler. It'd be nice, wouldn't it? Eight to twenty hours each. Cross stitch fractals and back stitch beginners and oh, look at that robin to uh, beginners, advanced beginners. How lovely are they? I love all three of those. Absolutely love those. That is gorgeous. it shows you how to frame them um, and the biggest one is 86 by 112 that's the biggest one make sure fabric is clean before you start to stitch just in case marks or stains aren't removable after your all your hard work then you've got some competitions then you've got countdown begins and this is um, a decorative advent calendar which i've never seen anything like this before so this is new to me um i don't know how it works oh you fix a strong magnet to the bauble and then you move it to each one that's clever isn't it actually i quite like that idea uh 45 hours to stitch the whole lot cross stitch back back stitch and french knots and yes i did swear then and i didn't mean to i'm very sorry if it <laughs> Because <laughs> I know Jenny will pick up on it. Um, advanced beginner and it's intermediate. I do apologise. My words do get mixed up sometimes. That is really nice. And it's 199 high by 132 wide. And it says the top tip is use thread conditioner on metallic threads to make them more manageable to stitch with. Oh, that's a good idea because I've got some um, thread conditioner. I've got that honey one that you use. Um, stock is where you can get it, back issues, and then um, we've got the cat that somebody sends in a pet, and Dorian Jones does a pattern towards it, and this week it's a cat, and it looks very, very similar to the cat. Very sorry, there's kids screaming outside. Then next month, guys, look at all this. We have got all stocked up stockings. We have baubles for the tree, we have the bakery, and I don't know whether that's the church, what is it, bakery, oh a house, a bakery and a Christmas tree to go with your scene. You have some special delivery cards there. We have Santa, oh my god guys, look at that. Santa's best friend, I love that one. That has got to be my favourite. Look, dogs and cats all mixed up. and Oh look at that, little fairy on the tree little Christmassy scene forever friends 2022 calendar there and plus much more it says so yeah there's quite oh and you take a break at the back and then always on these they have how to how to stitch if you've never ever 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 stitched before back of these magazines it tells you how to I've got to admit this magazine the world of cross stitch 
is the best for explaining everything. It gives you all the jargon, it breaks down the needles, everything is broken down in this one. I mean, they all got the basics, but this one really tells you everything you need to know. So you can pick up this magazine, pick up the freebies, and get into cross stitching straight away. Everything you need is here in this magazine. And then there's another Enjoy Cross Stitch magazine. I've never had that one. I might actually see if I can get hold of that. It's Enjoy Cross Stitch at Christmas. If I can get hold of it, I'll show you. And then the Heritage Crafts is always on the back of these where you can get um, ready-made kits made. So what did you think? What was the best pattern in there for you? I'm not sure I liked a lot of them. A lot of them in there this time I liked. But let me know what you liked down below. Was there any you liked? Would you buy it? There's quite a few in here that I like, so it's well worth my money getting hold of it. If I didn't make it now, I might make it in the future, or I might make them for me, um, or somebody I might know might want to do something. But anyway, let me know down at the bottom. Thank you all for stopping by. If you haven't subscribed and you fancy staying around, we'd like to have you. I do all sorts of crafts on this channel, which something might interest you. Um, if you're not keen on commenting down below, you can always contact me if you want to do it that way. I don't mind, but I do like the comments because one, it helps the channel and two, I get to know you and have a chat and know what your views and things are, which is great. All my personal details are down below as well. Anything you need to know about me, all my channels, my Patreon, my Etsy shop where I sell um, cross stitching, project bags, yarn bags, knitting bags, all sorts of things in my shop. But uh, I'm just babbling now, but it's all down below. So all I can say is thank you for stopping by, look after yourselves, take care and most importantly stay safe. Love you all, bye.